All right, here we are back in the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast. I'm so grateful again that you guys have come back again. Um, and this past weekend, as I'm recording this episode, we had a traumatic uh, incident occur. Um, what we haven't seen in about 40 years, an attack on a former president, uh, President Trump. And it got me thinking, you know, we are always having peace unfortunately violated in our world and this is a reality that we live in and there's things externally to us that we can't control now we can do the best that we can to control these things but it's serious business when we're not looking at our peace and so i'm going to take a a little bit of a pivot here from our series that we've been covering about short-term long-term goals and things like that which are super important and i'll be coming back to that but i wanted to pause here in this this episode to talk about peace and where do you find your peace? And what is that? We've talked a little bit about this in past episodes where I talked about assessing your baseline. Where are you at in um, a framework in the warrior's way? And I'm going to give you a kind of a, a, a slightly different model or framework that I use called the peace index. And I'm going to dive deeper into this. But here's the reality. We all have some level of chaos in our lives. We have some level of uncertainty. We have some level of not knowing or, or being unclear. So when somebody asks you the question, how are you doing? What's going on with you? And you like, you say, I'm okay, or I'm good. Well, what, how did you come up to, how did you come up with that? How did you assess that to really have a solid answer to give to somebody? And so on today's episode, I'm going to give you a practical tool that you'll be able to actually go to right after this podcast, check it out. Um, I'm going to dive into that, but I want to start with a framework of understanding. Number one is we all seek peace. The reality is we live in a world that is filled with chaos, but we feel filled with challenges um, and, and they're in different domains. And so part of what we're gonna try to understand and assessing this is what are those domains? How can we break those out into something measurable or, or assess it? And I find that's part of the, the chaos because we kind of meld everything together and we're really not sure what what weighs up sometimes. If you've ever been uh, gone to the ocean and you get hit by a wave, sometimes if you, that wave's big enough, it you can actually turn upside down. You don't know which way's back up to get back to the surface, to get to the air. You are actually turned around so much, you don't even know which direction to go. And so here on the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast, we're all about getting you in that right direction, taking steps, building momentum over time that you're the healthiest, most intelligent leader, leading yourself and your teams. Um, that's what I'm passionate about. That's what I'm here to serve you, the listener, um, and why I bring these tools and resources through my company, the Steward Your Business and your Steward Yourself program, where I walk you through those things on a more one-on-one, -on -one, deeper level. But here on the podcast today, I want you to give you tools to assess where you're at in your peace. We will always have chaos again. We'll always have challenges, but then how can we assess where we're at at a moment and recognizing this is a this is a, a continuum. So where you're at today in the PC you have today could drastically change tomorrow. It could be, you know, but how do we assess for that, right? How do we have a grounding in the facts of our life? Some people will say, well, this is my truth. I like, I don't personally like that saying. I personally say, what is the facts of your life? Because facts are changing. Um, they're at a moment in time, accurate, true, and then that could be changed um, in, a, in a week, in a month, and later on. Truth is, in my opinion, or my understanding, let's <laughs> just say, is ever, ever, doesn't change. Truth is truth, whether I say it or not. Um, and so what I want to get you at is understanding the facts of your life and where are you at. And so we're going to break it down a little bit here. If you are so inclined, uh, you guys can message me. I'll send you a direct link to my website where you can download and do the peace index. Believe it or not, it's a very quick exercise. It takes about five minutes to answer these questions. You may want to take a little bit longer. Um, I just took the assessment again this morning and I was looking at my results. And uh, one thing I really like about the giant tools is you can go through these assessments as many times as you want. Um, the peace index is completely free. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm not making any money off of this. It's just a great tool and a resource. And if you find that it has value, it can help you more. We can talk further in there. But I want to introduce kind of this this framework. So there's different ways we can break up domains of our lives. Uh, what I advise you to do is 
uh, not make it overly complicated, but um, find the ones that are most meaningful for you. Um, in the core four, which I have talked with you guys about before, uh, we look at four domains, uh, our body, our being, our balance, our business. Peace Index is very similar in that, but this may resonate with you differently. And you, as I bring these tools to you and, and share these resources with you, you may hear I'm, I'm, I'm tool agnostic, meaning I want to find the best tool and resource that helps you and makes you move and gets the, yeah, gets you the results that you truly desire. I am not fixated on the tool itself. I've learned to hold loosely that because some things resonate better with other people. And over the years, I made the mistake of kind of saying, well, this is the one tool. You've got to use this tool. And I've learned that that was a mistake. You have to figure out how to use the tool. How, to, how does it best serve you? So on this Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast, think of it as I'm providing you a, a buffet and an array of things to look at. I'm giving you an example and explaining them as if you went to a restaurant and you're like, what are the specials? What are those things on there? And I explain to you, here are some of the things that I've used that have worked for me and the teams and the clients I've worked with and try it on, see how that works. Uh, it may work for you. It may not work for you and that's okay, but you won't know unless you are aware and, and, and test it out, try it out. So when we look at the peace index, it's a way of personalizing for you. What is your baseline? Where is your piece? Uh, it's a way of um, quantifying. So that's something that we're always kind of in search of. How do I quantify? There's quality and quantity, you know, quantity, quantification. So what we're trying to do is get a number. And Warrior, we use the same thing. In a Warrior app, we have a, we're gamifying. We're getting a number. So we can kind of, at a glance, understand that. I find that combined with qualitative descriptions are very powerful. Um, not one or the other. You combine those two, and it gives you great clarity into kind of zeroes in on where you're at in your life. And so when we look at the peace index, we look at a number of areas. We look at your purpose, your the people around you, the place that you live in around your provision and your personal health. So this, you'll see it sounds similar, um, but slightly different than um, the warrior tools, the core four, which I've talked about, the main one being purpose, uh, although it it's intertwined there. Um, so we want to look at these interconnected areas of life. And when we go through a piece index assessment, what we're doing is ass assessing kind of our external world, our internal world, and where are we in alignment? Our purpose is really kind of our, our moral compass. What do we what do we felt like we're called to do, how we're show up to be, how we're supposed to live our life? So starting with purpose, I think, is a really great place to be because sometimes we don't know. We are in a different stage of life and we're not clear on our purpose. Um, things have shifted. Uh, maybe you were a parent and your children have now moved out of the house. They're moving on. Um, maybe you have an aging parent. Um, you know, there's different elements of purpose. Maybe you were married and no longer married. Uh, maybe you're a widower. Our purpose and the way we show up it varies in, in where we're called to lead, how we're supposed to show up, right? Maybe you were a, a former owner of a company and now you've retired or you've stepped out or you sold that company, right? Maybe you've you've moved in from one position to another position. So it's understanding like, how do I show up here and live my true calling, my way of serving? And um, and I've talked with a number of people that I coach with or people I get, you know, I do consultations with. And it doesn't really matter what age you are in this spectrum. You know, I'm 50. I find this from younger ages to older because there's different seasons of life. So when we look at this peace index, look at the purpose. And when you assess that, where are we? Are we are we living our true purpose as we understand? Do we have clarity in that? Are we moving in that direction? Do we have confidence? Um, do we have fulfillment in that space? And if you're not, um, we're gonna we're gonna get into that a little bit. But here's a way of breaking it down. And so one component of our peace index assessment is your purpose. How are you showing up? How are you leading yourself and leading others? So that goes into the second one, which is people. And in the warrior framework, we call that balance. But how are the people showing up? And how are you showing up for them? And how are they showing up for you? So it's a two-way street. Uh, are you feeling supported by those around you, your coworkers, uh, your loved ones? Um, are you feeling appreciated for the, what you do? Are you showing up in a way that is giving? 
caring or you're showing up in a way that's taking are you showing up as a deficit um how are you being intentional in your relationships with your children uh with your spouse with your community right all those people around you your coworkers, what would they say about you would they say you are a person of peace and presence or are you a person of chaos are you a person of uncertainty uh are you a person that brings um is like taking from them the energy is taking right we talked about last episode we talked about managing your energy and how you're showing up doing all these goals and and attacking attaching getting these all these different tasks done so how would the people in your life say you're showing up and so when we look at that we can do an assessment again where are they and the, and the piece in this assessment does go through different areas from your from your work life to your personal life so these all cross over it isn't just one one area and and some so sometimes we may have a better relationship sometimes with our coworkers than we do with our children or vice versa we may have some very challenging demands from coworkers where we're, we're much better in a place with our our spouse um and so when we we go through and we look at that we again sign a number here it's we, we, the way the peace index works is it's um a series of questions and so from one to a hundred we have a kind of a spectrum of just you know strongly disagree disagree you're neutral you agree or you strongly agree so we have this spectrum of questions and and, and answers and based on your response and and i i try i encourage people stay away from undecided as much as you can uh if you have to lean one way or the other try to flip it to either agree or disagree what is more like how you're showing up right now and if you're like well that's not i'm not consistently showing up that way then you probably want to say i disagree with the statement if it's if it's saying one thing and you're like yeah i'm not really consistently showing up there so maybe sometimes i am uh, and so getting back to our assessment of talked about purpose we talked about people the third part is place and so this is a little bit different too i like this one because it's different than our in the wire framework as well but but it is related so when we look at place or environment right where do you find yourself um living where do you find yourself working um this is really important especially in today's age where people are in many places still working remotely uh from home um or they have now many people are having to go back to work uh full time in the office and that can be stressful too so we're in this transition period of time of like what does this look like working at home or hybrid uh, how do how do we um go navigate this right uh, what are the stresses of that um the stresses of having maybe to make a long commute in to and from work or um having to work with some challenging people in in your workplace so that could be people and the environment think about where you are at home do you have a dedicated space to work for example um do you enjoy your outdoor surroundings you know one of the reasons I have chose to where I'm here in Southern California living in Running Springs is I love nature. I love the outdoors. I love to get out there. I was out there this morning in my backyard. And so that to me is really important. You understand your environment. Do you have the right tools, the right resources for you to do your work effectively, right? Um, this is something that companies spend time and money on equipping their, their team to have the right um, ergonomics. They have the right you know resources to set up, right? Um, and so is that a place where you want to go to? Is it a place where you wake up to and you're like, man, I can't wait to jump up and get into the, my workspace and my, my place of being, or is it something that you're like, man, I'm stressed. I've got a roommate, I've got the cha challenges here. So again, we're just, a, this is just an assessment. We're getting a baseline. There's no guilt or shame here. We just want to get you clear on where are you right now in your piece. So we've talked about purpose, we've talked about people, we talked about our place, our physical environment that we find ourselves in, and provision is our next one. Um, in, in the warrior framework, we call that business or, or finances, money, wealth, uh, right? Where are you in the world of taking care of yourself, taking care of your family? Are you having enough to make your needs or wants? Most, most of us hopefully have our wants covered, needs are kind of endless, but, Nonetheless, we want to assess, number one, where we're at currently and where do we want to go? Are we moving in the direction toward abundance or do we see like, oh my goodness, I just feel like I'm sinking. I just feel like I keep getting barraged by bills and I'm feeling overwhelmed by uncertainty in my ability to earn income, my ability to manage income, right? 
um, what I have in front of me. Um, and so when we look at provision, we want you to be aware of this. Um, I'm reading a, a, a book right now, just talking about money, if you will, is it's a form of energy. If you, and we talked about energy in our last form, it's just a way of how we assign value to certain things. Right. And so look at the world you have and look at the provision that you have. And do you have peace there? Or do you have uncertainty or unrest? Right. We see continual changes in the stock market. We still, we see changes in the employment rate. Right. We, we see uh, challenges in the price of things going up. Where is your peace in the midst of all of that? As far as provision goes, um, how are you aware? How are you handling that? What are you learning or not learning? Or what's, what's the challenges there? So we're looking at our purpose, our people, our place, and our provision. And finally, we want to look at our personal health. Um, this is kind of self-explanatory, but what are you doing to take care of yourself? How are you showing up in, in a healthy way to get workouts, the food you're eating? Um, this is why I like uh, the Warrior app for this because I can gamify it. Did I do my fitness? Did I sweat today? Did I get my green smoothie or my food in? Uh, you know, for those of you watching me here on YouTube, you see I got my Fitbit here. Uh, I'm tracking, I'm looking at these numbers to see, am I moving in the right direction? We can all look ourselves on the scale, you know, how, what our weight is. Uh, we can look more intensely at our, our body fat uh, or different other metrics, right? Um, are we are we assessing for ourselves and our well physical well-being? For me, um, you know, that is uh, not always the, the case. Uh, in fact, for those of you that are actually going to watch us on YouTube, I'm going to pull up my own peace index assessment that I actually took uh, this morning, and I'm going to share it with you. So for those of you listening to the podcast, come over to YouTube, follow along. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to actually pull that up, uh, and we'll see if we can we can show that. Um, but uh, we have this way of being, and if we're not intentional, um, again, how will we know to assess it? So here is, make this as big as I can. So I'm going to make myself small so you guys can see this. So in this piece index assessment, you're going to get this report. And again, this is absolutely free. You can go to my website um, and I'll, I'm happy to give you guys the link. Just message me directly and I'll send it to you. But this is your personalized report based on your review. You'll notice my overall piece index right now, thankfully, is very high. It's 92%. And it combines all these components. Um, now it's not always that way, um, and you're going to see where I dip. But um, when I look at my place, remember my I told you earlier the physical place. The way we break this down uh, is my personal place, my physical surrounding. I purposely chosen a place where I live with my family here in Running Springs. We moved from Orange County in 2020 because we want to have this larger space. We want to have this outdoors. Uh, for me, not dealing with an HOA, there's a lot of different elements here, but we find this enjoyment of being outdoors, being connected here, and it's so very important. So for me, place is very high. I'm very thankful for that. I get to work from home. I've got my home studio here. Um, and then purpose, as you guys know, I'm living my purpose here with this the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast, Steward Your Business. I'm helping others, individuals, teams. And so that's so very important to me. And so could it be better? Absolutely. But I feel absolutely like having made this choice, this entrepreneurial journey, I'm moving in that positive direction. Provision. I'm very thankful that I have amazing clients. Uh, I've been able to steward my my wealth well, uh, reducing debt and, and making wise investments, uh, providing for my family. Um, and so I'm very, very grateful that I have that place of being um, for them. And then going down to people. Uh, the people in my life, the individuals and relationships. Uh, I'm so grateful that I have so many co colleagues and and from different groups, from, from Giant and Warrior and, and Paranality and all these different resources that I'm a part of, full focus as just a coach, but then just personally uh, through my church, through my community. Um, it's so important that the people are my wife, particularly, and my children. Um, I will say this is super important to look at because sometimes, at least for me personally, when I'm looking at different areas in the business, you have to make sure you're paying attention here in all aspects of people and balance. And this is where Warrior helps a little bit more as a tool in getting clear on, hey, am I showing up for those individuals? How am I showing up in gratitude? But 
nonetheless, people, and then personal health. You'll notice my personal health one is the one I feel like I can do much better on. I'm not terrible, but I know I can lose some weight. I can get I can get better in my in my body fat composition and some of the food choices I'm making, um, and just being more intentional there. So that is my lowest score right now, which is 78, which is not terrible, but not not great either, right? It's a matter of how do I get to be better in a in a more in my physical space, uh, how I'm taking care of myself. So that is a way uh, we can be um, and more intentional in showing up and, and assessing ourselves. I hope this is helpful for you as you listen to this podcast because I want you to be in a place of peace. I want you to be able to look at this. You take all of these numbers, right? You go through this peace index assessment and then you get a total number. So like I told you guys at the very beginning, at the top of this index, I got a 92. I wasn't 92 across all of them. Some of I was higher, some of I was lower. But we take all those five areas your, your purpose, your place, your provision, your people, your personal health. We look at all that and then we can have a score. Similarly, we can do that in the Warrior app as well. And these are tools that I, I curate and help you walk you through as part of the Steward Your Business program, both for, both for companies and individuals. So all that being said, take the assessment for you, yourself today. See where you're at. And, and now you can actually speak more clearly when somebody asks you how you're doing, you say, you know what, I'm actually doing really good in my purpose, but my personal health right now is I'm, I'm struggling or, or the, my people relationships are a bit off. You can always dig deeper into these, these um, five areas, right? Um, and that's great because it gives you a direction to focus in on versus I'm not quite sure. I'm just feeling off. I'm okay. I don't really know. It gives you an actual way of quantifying it and then helping you take steps to move in the direction to become that person that you want to become. If you're like, man, I'm I'm off in my health. Like for me, well, what do I need to do? I can be more intentional in that um, from drinking more water to getting more protein, right? Getting my workouts in. There's things, active things that I can do. And then I can take the assessment again and say, hey, am I, am I on target or off target? Is this working or not working? What do I need to do to, to pivot from that? So goal here is to help you be that most intelligent human leader. And when you walk with peace and presence, people notice. I, I guarantee it. When you're in chaos and uncertainty and unsettled, people know that too. And people will follow the person of peace. They will want to gravitate to you because they want to understand how did you get there? What is what is this? What have you found? Right? And that's my goal is to help you have that presence of mind for yourself and then bring that to others in your team and your in your family around you so that you are that most intelligent human leader. I hope if this really made an impact for you today that you would, of course, like and subscribe and, and follow all of that good stuff. Your, your five-star review would be fantastic because it helps me get the message out and helping others in creating this podcast. I continue to bring podcasts in every week for you because it's part of my way of sharing and living my life, showing you how I, I'm, you know, the fruit of my life, if you will, showing you the peace of my life um, and, and empowering you to find what I found and getting you to the direction that you really desire in your life, whether it's, it's whatever the area that you need work on, right? Um, so thank you so much for listening today. I welcome your comments, your feedback. And until then, I just leave you with this blessing of peace with you, knowing that even though you may be in a pit of life, there is a place of peace. We, we together can work through that, moving you from the pit through the challenges where you're fi finding yourself right now, maybe disconnected and moving you to that, what I call your peak of peace. So let's get on a call. Reach out to me. You know you have an advocate for myself here, David Carr at Steward Your Business and, the, and being come that most intelligent human leader. Until next time, take care and may peace be with you. Thanks so much for listening. Bye, everybody. <laughs>